Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and today I'm doing another renovation for my save file, and this will be the last house in this neighborhood. So I've been saying this in all my other builds, but I'm sort of breaking each neighborhood into sort of areas, like neighborhoods within neighborhoods, just so that I can, like for my sanity mostly, just so that I can um, see the light at the end of the tunnel. Not that I don't enjoy this, I absolutely love creating the save file and I'm happy with how it's turned out so far, but um, I just like knowing that I have like, I don't know, and this one I think it's five neighborhoods in Willow Creek that I'm working on and I can check off each neighborhood when I'm done and it's so rewarding and so that's kind of how I've been seeing this. Um, this is sort of the more upscale part of Willow Creek and there are four houses here which is the goth house I did that brick house across the street which was the lawyer's house and then I did um, that traditional Willow Creek home which is kitty corner to this one and then this house I debated for a long time about this one I looked at the lot and I just stared at it for a really long time and thought about it I wasn't sure if I wanted to completely bulldoze it and start from scratch or if I wanted to renovate it because I could see that it had good bones. I loved the layout of it. I loved the size. I loved the landscaping around the house. There was so much potential to this house. Um, EA builds are just tragic. Everyone knows that they're awful. There isn't a single one that I like, but I thought like there's still something here. I like the shape of this house and I knew that I could work with it. So yeah, the more I thought about it, the more I thought like, I just can't bulldoze this house. I just need to renovate it. And that is what I want to do for some of the houses in the safe file. I don't want to bulldoze every single lot. There are lots of houses that have such great potential and I do love doing rentals so much. And so I think it's kind of fun to be able to uh, renovate. I'll probably do that with most, if not all of the community lots. Uh, maybe not all, but definitely most of the community lots will be renovations, uh, at least until I sort of get used to doing community lots, get a little bit better at it. Uh, right now, you may or may not know that I don't do a lot of community lots. Um, in fact, I've never done one, at least not in a video. I think I've done like a little floral shop um, for a let's play I was doing, but I've never done a speed build for a community lot. So that to me is so intimidating. I'm really nervous to get started on those and I am leaving it to the last minute. Um, so yeah, this neighborhood, just about done and then I'll be doing the neighborhood uh, that has there's a really big like sort of traditional looking Willow Creek home and then right behind it is the um, oh this what's the, their name um, the Lewis or is it oh I can't remember their last name it's like Eric and Alice I think their last name is Lewis or Kim Lewis I can't remember exactly but uh, it's a household um, I'm sure you know by now which which name I'm struggling to say, but it's the household that has like the mom, the dad, the daughter, and then the two grandparents that live there. Um, so I'm gonna be renovating that one, or not renovating, I think. I started that house already, actually. I did not renovate, I am starting from scratch, uh, but keeping the family though. So I'm building it for the family. But yeah, I started that one already, and then just like I said, there's that bigger Willow Creek house. So after this one, there's only two more residential lots, and then I'm on to the community lots. Um, so far, it's a nightclub, the gym, the library, and the museum. And I don't know if I'm gonna renovate all those and keep them the same, or I haven't decided. I'm so nervous for it though, honestly. <laughs> I'm so nervous to start those community lots, and not even really looking forward to it. I'm just so scared I'm gonna wreck them and make them look worse. Um, but I don't know, I have I have faith in myself as a builder. I know that I I can build. And I, I, if, if I can't build, I can decorate, so. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Um, you're about to watch me struggle with this kitchen for a very long time. And, oh, this kitchen, I don't know why I struggled with it so much. I had a vision and it wasn't coming together. It was really hard. But for this house, I uh, there's actually nobody living here. Uh, so I decided that I would create my own family to move in. And so what I've thought up in my mind is a um, husband and wife that live with the um, husband's children. So it's um, basically a dad, his three teenage kids, which is um, two daughters and a son, and then his wife, which is the stepmom of the kids. And I don't know, I think it'd be funny if the kids like tried to make her life a mis a miserable living hell and um, tried to like drive their new stepmom out of the house. Uh, nothing, <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with her. 
I just think maybe she doesn't know what she's getting into. These kids are a little bit more trouble than she knows. And, um, yeah, I think it'd be an interesting household to play. And meanwhile, the dad has no idea that his kids have kind of made this plan to get rid of their new stepmom. So I don't have their names or anything like that, but I definitely thought of their personalities. There is, um, I'm, I was thinking maybe the older, um, the oldest uh, sibling, which is the the boy, I feel like he instigates this whole thing and he gets the two girls riled up and tries to work against the stepmom. And I know it sounds like an evil plan, but really it's just kind of funny. And yeah, they, I mean, they don't, they don't actually make her life a living hell, but they do make things a little bit difficult for her. And they have this plan to sort of get rid of her. Um, but I don't know if I think if I played with this household, they would eventually sort of I would play it so that they eventually got along and they grew to actually love the stepmom. And yeah, that's my plan. I, I if I don't think I'll ever actually play the household, but I think that'd be the funnest way to do it. Um, like, yeah, try to drive her out, but then end up actually really liking her. That's how I think I would do it. Um, but yeah, so I think it'd be a fun household to play in. Um, the house, the shape of this house is very odd. Um, it just didn't make much sense to me when I was doing the floor plan. I do believe I even cut the floor plan out because it was just too intense. Um, or maybe I didn't actually. I think I did put it in. But I played around with things a lot, moved things around a lot too. I used the windows from university. And let me just say, they're not easy. Um, a lot of the window coverings don't work with them. And they are they just made things a little bit tricky. So it was kind of hard to uh, figure that part out. But I, I go back and forth on a lot of things. and. I don't know, I, I do end up liking this house, I really do, but it's just not exactly what I pictured. I don't know, I think I wanted it a little bit more cluttered. I need to work on my clutter, I think. I need to not be afraid of clutter, because I am afraid of clutter. I'm afraid that if I put too much of it, it's gonna look bad, but my number one inspiration for building is Simlessy. She's my absolute favorite builder. I watch a lot of builders, though. Um, Thomas TV, um, I, I absolutely love all of his builds, too. Um, Devin Bumpkin, love that. Uh, the Sims Supply doesn't really do it, or James Turner, sorry. Doesn't really do builds anymore, but I used to love his builds a lot. Um, Simlessy, I watch all of hers. Or sorry, not Simlessy. I mentioned that already. Lil Simsy, I watch all of her builds as well. Um, Hip Hip Renee, there's a lot that I watch all the time. Um, and I always try to draw inspiration from other builders and... For me, whenever I see a builder that uses so much clutter, I'm like, oh, I need to do that next time. I need to not be afraid of the clutter. But then I start doing it. I'm like, oh, I'm going way overboard and it doesn't look like theirs. And I think I need to just practice a little bit more with the clutter and get a little bit better at it. And um, yeah, just try not to be afraid of cluttering things up too much. Um, that's, that's definitely what I need to work on. And I recognize that in myself for sure. Um, so we're t done the back of the house, which is like the kitchen and the dining room. We're on to the living room now. Um, and now that I kind of got out the basics of the house and the backstory for the family living here, I thought I would take a little bit of time to talk about my channel and like what I've got planned and just everything that's been going on. Um, sometimes I find that I don't really know what to talk about during my videos, but I think sometimes I should just talk about me and whatever's going on in my life. And that's how you guys can sort of get to know me better. And um, I mean, I wish there was a way to get to know you guys too, but <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I think it's a good way to get to know me better and just kind of, I don't know, know what I'm up to, what I'm feeling. And I did actually start my videos as a way to um, just show my friend uh, all my speed builds and it kind of just turned into more than that and it's been really fun. Um, but I am finding that I'm spending too much time and I don't want to say wasting. It's not a waste of time. It definitely isn't. Um, I can see how people would think that it is though because I'm not paid to do YouTube and I spend a ton of time making videos because I do, as of now, um, up until now I've had daily uploads on my channel and that has been since 2000, uh, it's been a year and a half. Oh my God, I think I'm coming up on two years. In May, it'll be two years. That's crazy. To, no, it can't be that long. I need a minute to process that. Okay, so I think I'm coming up on two years. Um, yes, I really am coming up on two years. That is crazy, holy crap. So May will be two years of this channel and um, when I started it, I was doing daily uploads and I have been up until this point. 
And now I'm finally saying to myself, like, wow, you're just doing too much. And <laughs> I need to settle down a little bit. Um, like I said, I don't make money from this. If I made money from YouTube, this would be my full-time job and I would be wholeheartedly into this. I love every aspect of doing this. I love planning Let's Plays. I love getting my like decorating houses for my Let's Plays. I love giving my Sims makeovers for my Let's Plays. I love recording them. Um, I, I love editing them. I actually do. A lot of people don't. I don't put a ton of effort into editing, um, but I do enjoy it a lot. I just, I like all of it. I find it really rewarding when I make my little schedule and I can tick off every video that I've uploaded and I just get so much joy out of it. I really do. And that's the reason that I continue to do it. Um, I know that I, like, I don't tell people in my life that I have this channel because um, I fear that people will think that it's a waste of time. Um, my husband doesn't even know about it and it's not that my husband and I aren't close. We are extremely close, but I don't know. I've just enjoyed having this to be my own and I don't want anyone to have opinions about it and I, in my life and I don't want anyone to tell me that it's a waste of my time because I do believe that I will eventually believe them if I hear it often enough and I will give up and I don't want to do that. So that is why it's my own little secret. I don't want anyone's opinions. I like what I'm doing and I don't really need to hear anything negative. And I know that that's kind of sad that anyone would have anything negative to say, but yeah, I, I know that I spend too much time doing this and it has been, um, I'm just coming to a point now where I am realizing that I'm, I just, I need to slow down and I need to spend less time doing this. I need to do other things. I need to focus on my health. Uh, that's for sure. I have been ignoring my body lately and I know that I need to start eating better and working out and I've I've been, really been tuning into that lately but I just I've been neglecting myself. So I think the best thing to do is um yeah, try to focus on that and um take it no, I don't want to take a break from YouTube. That's not all what I'm going to do, but I am going to slow down my schedule just a little bit and so what I'm going to be doing is instead of daily uploads uh, which has just been like, I can't believe I've been committing to that. Daily uploads is a lot. Um, even for people whose job is YouTube, daily uploads is a lot. And um, I don't know, I don't want to feel like I'm failing by saying I'm not going to do it anymore. But I do, I, I think that I have to recognize I do have other things going on. I do have a job where I work three days a week. And I have my own business where I make cupcakes and sell them. I take custom orders. I sell them at a local um, shop and I'm there every single night making cupcakes every single morning making cupcakes I do bookkeeping on the side I have a lot of family that I plan a lot of events with and I'm just like I'm overwhelmed right now and I am happy that I can at least say that and at least recognize it but it's been a long time coming and it's definitely time for me to just slow it down a little bit so that's what I'm gonna be doing um, I'm gonna be going to, I think what's gonna work for me is probably four or five videos a week. Should be good enough, I think. Um, that will just free, free up some of my time. Um, and I mean, I, I, my channel can still grow. Like I don't think that I need daily uploads to grow my channel. Right now my goal is a thousand subscribers and I'm at 786. So I know that I'm getting there slowly. It takes some time. They, they, I know that it will. Um, but yeah, I, I, know, I know that I need to just spend less time doing this. I am spending too much time playing Sims. And I know that that is like such a difficult thing for me to admit uh, because I love it. I, I love the Sims. It's my life. But um, yeah, I, I definitely, at least I can recognize that I've been spending a little bit too much time and I know that it won't make much of a difference for you guys. It's gonna make me feel like a bit of a failure. I know that, but, um, and it's gonna bother me a little bit that I can't do these daily uploads because I have enjoyed it so far, but um, yeah, it's time to slow down. And it's something I've been thinking about for probably like six months. I've been thinking about slowing down. Uh, my husband and I are like, we go on vacations a lot and whenever we do, I get so stressed out with pre-recording and um it's silly it's just silly when i'm not this is not my job i don't make money at it it's just a hobby but i don't think that our hobbies should stress us out this much so yeah that's kind of how i've been feeling so i think what i'm going to be doing is probably um th 
three or four uh, Let's Play episodes a week and then one or two builds a week, whatever I have time for. Um, if you see that I have more builds than Let's Plays, that's probably because it's all I have time for. Um, recording Let's Plays for me means that I need to have an empty household, which is sometimes difficult because my husband, um, when he's off work, he works one week on, one week off. And so when he's home, he's home all the time and I don't get any, re any recording done when he's home. And um, I have my little brother that lives in my basement. So um, it's, uh, it's difficult. I only will, will record with an empty house. I know a lot of people are like that. So I find that I have more time for builds and then I can just quickly bang out a uh, voiceover in like 20 minutes and I do have more time for that kind of thing. Um, the editing takes longer, but that I can still do when people are home. So it all depends on uh, what people are doing in my house, which is silly, but yeah, so that's what's gonna be happening. Uh, I'm gonna be slowing down on uploads just a little bit, but I don't think I'll ever stop doing this. I really don't. Um, I just, I really enjoy it. It's fun for me. I think it's actually very relaxing as well. And I do suffer from anxiety quite a bit. Um, it's, I've been, I've been doing really, really, really well with it lately, but this is such an escape for me and it honestly helps so much. And I know that I've heard so many people, like my mom used to say like, that's just an excuse to play video games but it, it isn't, it's not. It really does help with anxiety, I think, to just be able to unplug from the world and like get lost in The Sims and just play something happy. And yeah, that's what has always worked for me. So that's why I don't think that I'll ever stop doing this. And um, yeah, the feedback is always really good on my videos. And I don't know, you guys are just make me feel good about what I'm doing. So I'm gonna keep doing it for a long time. I just think that I need to slow down a little bit and find a balance. Um, I need to make more time for myself and my health. I think it's my biggest thing right now is like I need to eat better I need to make more time for myself. I need to make myself more of a priority and um, I wish I could continue to do daily uploads. Maybe one day I'll come back to it, but for now um, Yeah, I definitely think it's just kind of silly that I worry so much about it when this is not my job I already have two other jobs. So yeah, that's um, that's just gonna be happening. So back to the build, uh, I'm just doing the landscaping now, which I could have cut out. It did take a very long time to sort of fill all of this up. Um, I like the way that it was, it was originally. I just wanted to fill it up a little bit more. There was a lot of like empty spaces that I didn't really like. So I did just put in some more um, plants and bushes. I think I added another willow tree at the front of the property as well. I feel like Willow Creek needs a lot of willow trees. So I did put those in there as well. And uh, one thing I forgot about is the, the uh, park in Willow Creek. I need to renovate that. That just became a very overwhelming thought for me. That's a really hard one. So I guess um, it's more than just four community lots. It's the park as well that I need to do. So yeah, the community lots will be coming up pretty soon. There'll be two more builds and then the community lot. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the museum. I'm not sure, but that's probably where I'll go with that. Uh, we're coming to the end of the video now, so there will be, will be a ton of screenshots because this is a pretty big build. You can download this renovation on the gallery. My um, origin ID is SimQueen 1992. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.